you just updated to iOS 18.1. You're ready for Apple's newest feature, which is Apple's intelligence. But exactly how to use it. I'm Chris Mizo, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can take advantage of it. Now, if you know anything that I do mention in this video, feel free to go down to the timestamps down below. The first thing I have to say before you take advantage of Apple intelligence, you have to have an iPhone 15 Pro and up in order for you to take full advantage of Apple's intelligence. Now, if you have a lower model under a iPhone 15 Pro, you'll still have some of the capabilities, but you won't be able to do everything that I do mention. I'm going to be showing it also on a MacBook. Make sure you update it to 15.1 Sequoia in order for you to take advantage of that. Now, let's dig into it. Now, the first thing you gotta do is you have to go over to your settings and make sure you go over to Apple's intelligence. Once you do, you have to enable it. Now, you might see a screen like this. Apple's intelligence, of course you do. So we're gonna hit next. You can summarize your notifications, which is a really nice feature, which really compresses all the information that you need, and Siri hasn't left. It's practically still inside of Apple's intelligence. It just looks a little bit different. Now, you can type to Apple's intelligence by simply double pressing Command twice. And when you do, that'll bring up this little message box. We're gonna enable it, and right now, I'm gonna show you an example of how to use it. So I'm gonna write, how's, where's my passport? Let's see if it can fetch it for us here. And unfortunately, it's not quite there yet, but let's move on, and we're gonna show you how to enable it on your iPhone. Let's go to settings. And now we're gonna to go to Apple's intelligence and Siri. So you might not exactly have the screen that you see right here. You might have to join a wait list, but don't worry, it's relatively quick. And once you are accepted into getting Apple's intelligence, it'll down directly to your phone. Once it's downloaded, make sure everything is enabled, such as Apple intelligence and the allow Siri one locked if you choose to, and you can choose talk and type to Siri. Let me show you exactly how you can use Apple's intelligence. To type to Apple's intelligence, just double tap the dock on the bottom, and I'm gonna ask Siri a question. How can I change my wallpaper? Look how quick that is. Isn't that amazing? Now it just pops up. You don't have to wait for a Siri to search or scavenge the internet for your how-to guide. How can I change my lock screen? And there it is, it pops up right there. Let's enable summary notifications. It's one of the top things you have to enable. And what it looks like is something like this. I have six Discord messages and it just compacts it into one. Now it makes it nice and easy, and with Apple Intelligence, it sets all the important notifications first. I gotta show you one of my personal favorite tools that Apple's Intelligence does feature, such as the writing tool. Now I'm showing you on a MacBook, but it works exactly the same. On a iPhone, you just highlight it, hold it, and you'll see writing tools. And when you do, I'm gonna go to key points. And now I have key points, and I don't really have to read the full summary if I don't want to. I can even copy it and bring it into my notepad. I'll show you how it works on iPhone. I just wrote a couple sentences here and I'm just gonna highlight it and go to writing tools. And when I go to writing tools, I'm just gonna proofread it and make sure it is correct before I send out the text. And now I just switch it over. I don't want John to lose any money, but I do want him to check out this micro center. So let's go over to friendly side to make it sound more friendly and you can even choose to switch it to more of a professional writing text let me introduce focus notifications this is something that you probably have used but you haven't tried the apple intelligence which is reduce interruptions it selects all the important applications that you use for your phone and sets them on alert but all the other applications that aren't as important it'll easily set them off. So that way you can only get alerted by the important notifications that you need. When you open up notes, you're gonna go over to record audio. For tomorrow's shopping list, for Saturday, for breakfast, I think I want to get some toast, eggs, and bacon. And just like that, you have a preview of what you want for your shopping list. 
and it gives you a transcript of everything that you had voiced. On top of this, you can also use this to record audio on your phone. But of course, when you do this, it will notify both parties and it will also write a transcript. Now we have a new tool in here called cleanup. You just go to the edit side and press cleanup. Once you do, it should download the tool into your phone. And once it is enabled, you'll be able to clean up any unnecessary things that you don't want in your background, people, things, objects that can be all completely out the way. Let me show you exactly how this works. It gives you an example of the things that you can get rid of. I just want to get rid of this person in the background right here first. So let's see how that works. Perfect. Now let me get rid of this, this right here, this other person. Perfect. Now I have exactly what I've wanted. Now another great feature that it has is you can look for specific items such as this bowl of delicious ice. Now it's gonna look on the web for similar photos, looking for something closely that resembles the photo that you have. This is also a great feature if you're looking for anything specific. When you go to photos, you can go to the memory side. And when you do, you can create special memories such as this Sunday brunch that was created by Apple's intelligence here. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who wants to figure out how to use Apple Intelligence, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan man, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And also, follow my X channel right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fan man, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.